everybody, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. If you drink enough energy drinks to build yourself a throne out of those, you may be a sysadmin, so hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna take you through deploying Windows updates using PDQ Deploy, well, and inventory in this case. First of all, uh, Microsoft is, you know, they're putting out cumulative updates for Windows 10 and, the, and, you know, the good and, you know, frustrating thing about that, there's so many different versions of that. So let's go to our package library and PDQ deploy and let's just search for Windows. And you'll notice right here, we've got all the different versions, 1511, 1607, 1607 and 2016. We got 32 bit, we got 64 bit. We used to combine those, but now we separate them because it's just, they're getting to be too big to put too many of those in there. So that being the case, it is very, very important that you download the uh, right version of your cumulative update for the version of Windows 10 that you're doing. The other thing to note is we've got some legacy Windows 7 stuff here and Windows 8. Now you'll notice we've got monthly rollups and security updates. Let me explain the difference between a monthly rollup and a security update. Monthly rollup, Basically, let's say I'm doing January, February, March, and I miss February. I can just pull the month, the February, or January, March, the March roll up, and it'll take care of everything in February. If you do the security only, you need to make sure you get them all and you do them in sequence and make sure they're all applied. So, in my personal opinion, unless you have a compelling reason, always use the monthly roll ups or the cumulatives. It takes care of having to worry about that sequencing or any of those missed months. Now let me show you how easy it is to do this. First of all, it's good to know what you've got out there. So I'm gonna just pop open inventory. In our collection library, we've got uh, pre-built collections. So here's my Windows 10, we'll just do Windows 10. You'll notice I've got one 1709, so I'll need the 1709, 1803. Most of mine are 1903, I've got seven of them. I've got a 1909 and I've got a 2004 version of Windows 10 in my lab. So let's just go grab a couple of these. So 1909, 1903, 64 bit. All of mine are 64 bit. I've got one 2004. We'll just grab these for now. You hit download selected. Now I want to point this out. The great thing is once you downloaded these once, as long as you got the blue arrow in the package right here, it's an auto download. So when the new version comes out, it'll auto approve and, and download the new version for you. You set that under options and preferences under auto downloads. That's just the global setting right there. So mine will wait seven days. Now it truly is as easy as this one. I can just hit deploy, deploy once, and then I can go and I can select targets from PDQ inventory collection. I'm going to grab the collection. And since this is 1903 or 1909, I'm going to go and select those um, out of that. Well, great. Check that out. 1903 old. So these ones are in need of this update. At this point, I can hit deploy now, and it's gonna go update those machines, do your typical Windows cumulative update. That's one way to do it. Let's automate it, because it's much easier. Again, hit deploy once, go to new schedule. We'll call this 1903-64 uh, for 64-bit, 1903 targets. We're again gonna choose targets from PDQ inventory collection. There it is, cumulative old triggers. Let's run that, I don't know, middle of the day. Don't do that. Let's run it on Fridays after hours. We'll say at uh, 10 p.m. Uh, and then we, under options, just stop deploying to targets once they succeed. We'll give that an okay. And now my Windows updates for that 1903-64 bit are gonna be automated um, from here on out into the future. It truly is that easy. Hey. Um, so remember takeaways, you know, cumulatives, make sure you get the, your Windows 10, the right version for the machines that you've got, the difference between a monthly rollup for Windows 8 or possibly Windows 7, and the security updates is monthly rollups are cumulative. So again, if you miss a month, you just hit the current month that gets the previous. And those security updates, use them if you find a good reason to use them, but make sure you need them all. You can't just grab the latest and expect it to take care of any of the months you missed. So. That's how you do it, using PDQ Deploy and a little bit of inventory to make your life easy. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.